Hi again, uh, here we are to continue with our, our Xcode project and we've set up these buttons here and we wanna create a rating system. So this will just be a test. We're kind of exploring some ideas and see how they work and then we can, you know, when we're done we and we've got some good ideas, we can maybe apply it to our project. Right now, all the stars are our buttons, right? Okay, so what I wanna do is when you tap on a button, I want this button and all the buttons to the left to fill in and show, like essentially we'll, we'll change the emoji to the filled in star, okay? Um, so how are we gonna do that? Well, in our ratings view controller right here, we have a collection, which is all of the buttons in an array, and then we have an actions, and all the buttons call the same action, okay? Every button here has a, a, a tag, and the tag is a number. So the first one is zero, one, two, three, and four. And so when we tap on a button, we, we know what tag it is. We can ask it for its tag number, okay? And so all the buttons with a tag number that are less than the one that we tap on, they'll fill in, and then the other ones will just show the, the hollow star, okay? Something like that, right? Let's give it a try. So let's go back to our ratings view controller, and what we'll do is we'll go to the star button tapped here. And the sender is a variable that is the button. It's type UI button. So this is the button that you tapped on. Okay, so it could be any one of them because all of them call this method, right? So what we'll do is we'll say let tag equal sender dot tag. Okay, so now we've got the number of the button. And then what we'll do is we'll say for, actually, let, yeah, let's just call it button in star buttons okay so we've set up a for loop here in the typical fashion like we're going to loop through this array and each item in the array will be assigned to this variable right so for every button that's in the array this will be one of those buttons until we loop through all of them okay so then what we'll do is we'll say hey if button dot tag is less than or equal to tag, then this one should be selected, right? So we'll select that button. Wait, did I get the, the operator? No, I guess I, I, I thought it had an error there, okay. Else, right? So now we've got, you know, hey, if the tag is, is um, great, I said greater than, wait. There we go, that would have been a problem, right? So we're, we're gonna say, hey, if the tag is less than or equal to the tag of the button that you tapped, so if the button in the array, its tag is less than or equal to the tag, sorry about that, I, this should be pointing the other way, right? Because we want less than, right? Um, if, it's, if it's less than or equal to the tag number of the, of the tapped button, then we wanna fill those buttons in and show them as selected, let's, let's call it, right? Else, we want to show them as not selected. Okay? All right, let's call that selected, right? So how do we do that? Well, what we'll do is we'll say button. Now button, it has a text label, but you can't, um, you can't really set it directly. You have to set it with set um, text or set title, I guess. Yeah, set title for control state. Okay, so we'll say button dot set title for control control state, and then the 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 string for the title is going to be our our filled in emoji. So I'll go get that from the emojis and symbols, and it'll be this one. And then the control state, the button has a bunch of different control states. We'll just set the normal state, and this kind of covers all the different states. And then down here, what we'll want to do is we'll want to um, I'll just copy that, right, and we'll paste it here. But this one we want to do with a different emoji. So I'll go back to the emojis and symbols, and we'll change it to the hollow star. Okay, and there we go, right? So let's give that a test, and we'll um, we'll try it out here. Hmm, there we go. Let's tap on that one. Oh, look, there's all three. There's four five if I click on two these are two and those get updated right hey that's working pretty good right so um, so that kind of works um, very simple right uh, we just use some basic stuff and the emojis helped out a lot 
Um, you could set the color of this by setting the tint of the button. So if you want to do these in a different color other than the blue, the blue kind of says that maybe it's a button. Um, you'll notice that with this system, the first button, once we set a rating, we can't really give anything less than one star. Like we can't give anything a zero star rating. Maybe you want that though. If you don't set the rating, then it's zero. But if you set the rating, it has to be one to five. Like you can't do a zero. Um, I mean, why would you rate something zero? Maybe, maybe you want to rate it zero. Maybe you don't, right? Uh, maybe if you're rating it, it has to be, you, you know, zero is kind of unrated, right? So maybe if you're rating it, it ha would have to be a one. I don't know. I'll leave that up to you to think about how your interface works and how, you know, your users are going to work with your app, right? And what they expect. But, um, but this is how this one works, right? Next, we'll try and do one with the label, okay? So thanks for watching, and I hope that that is helpful.